W-K-E-Y. It's great to have you on, Carlos. Thanks for being here. Uh, every time you're on, we talk about AI, cybersecurity, Internet of Things. But now there's COVID, a whole new game for WiseKey. Tell me how you've uh, pivoted the company, its goals um, in this new environment. Yeah, thank you very much for having me again. So, so this is a, a sad moment for many people. It is not that sad for technology companies, especially companies like WiseKey, than they are solving real issues in what concern allowing people with their digital identity and their cybersecurity we provide to avoid the uh, new apps that they are being deployed around the world for traceability of COVID infections. To, to be able to protect their data. So that's the first thing. We are being uh, requested by many organizations. As you know, WHO is here in Geneva, and Geneva is a city where we are testing for first time in the world, I will say, the possibility of storing your COVID uh, certificate in your mobile phone. And then when you have to board into a plane or you have to enter into a uh, um, airport or whatever secure facility, you can prove uh, with uh, a QR code, which is automatically generated by the app, that, that you are safe, basically, then you have done your test and you're not infectious person. So uh, as, as countries are now, all of them getting back into some kind of um, restrictions due to the uh, retake on the infection, the, uh, these apps are, are going to become part of our life. And we need to be sure that the data that those apps collect and the usage of that, those apps do not compromise the privacy of the user. So, um, you know, this is a big opportunity for cybersecurity companies as we have technology that allow people to, to be safe and at the same time prove to others that they are not carrying infection. Right, right. Um, just to talk about what you really did before COVID, um, it's all about cybersecurity, protecting and, you know, having authenticity from everything, from smart cars, smart lighting, um, things in your home, drones, agricultural sensors, crypto tokens, mobile phones. Tell me a little bit about some of the challenges that the company faces. I mean, what's been monumental for your company that is really exciting in order that regular folks, consumers say, wow, that's really cool. I'm really glad that Carlos and his team came up with that. So the, the barrier is mainly convincing uh, manufacturers of objects and they are getting connected to the internet to secure their objects. I mean, it's much easier if you do that at the beginning of the design process than if you have to retrofit uh, existing objects and they are connected to the internet with our technology that is more expensive and is cumbersome. So um, slowly, because the issues of connected devices not being protected is becoming a legal issue in many cases, manufacturers now, they, they are thinking in terms of cybersecurity before they design a product, let's say a drone or a uh, smoke detector in your house or a Wi-Fi. Uh, before, these objects were very easy to break now, it, because the technology is there and manufacturers are willing to, to render them more difficult to break, um, the market is expanding. So, uh, as you know, we are talking about one trillion objects to be connected by the year 2030. Uh, the, uh, we have something like eight billion now connected. It is a long way to go. But the good news is manufacturers right. are willing now to, to, to put the effort and, and budget to make their objects uh, safe and interconnectable. Any deals happening? I mean, you seem like a great company with, you know, a lot of intellectual property and proprietary information. Any approaches by some bigger companies for some potential merger, merger or acquisition? I mean, Wesley has been made of, uh, making acquisitions. We acquired two companies last year, and um, we are obviously always uh, looking into uh, companies and they have very large distribution capability on IoT and they can be um, merged into our cybersecurity platform. At the same time, as you know, there is a huge consolidation going on in cybersecurity because cybersecurity normally starts at national level and you have many uh, small companies doing great work but not able to scale. So uh, scaling cybersecurity is going to be a huge opportunity, M&A opportunity in the next 18 months to come. 
companies that they have a strong IP, like the case of Wisekey and, and a strong distribution capability, because we have 1.5 billion objects already using our chips, and we have a cryptographic root key already installed in, uh, in 5 billion devices. So it's one of the dominant cryptographic root keys. So, so those companies will grow faster because they are becoming platforms. Cybersecurity is becoming like um, airports where planes right. land because the airport provides the security. So we are the next airports on the Internet, right? It will be much easier to develop services on the top of a cybersecurity company platform than somebody else trying to bring cybersecurity into their company, right? It will be much difficult. So um, the COVID is accelerating that because we are going to enter into a, a society where everything is going to be connected because we need to have real data coming in the right way. We need to have sensors encrypting data in the cloud and being able to clouds being able to certify that that data came from that specific office. Yeah. So trustability is going to be a major a major business as, as, as the entire society okay. is going to be connected. And COVID is a And we'll have you back. Yeah, Carlos, we'll have you back as that develops even more.